All right guys, I thought I'd talk about the most up-to-date lucid dreaming methods and techniques in 2019. It's been a while since I've made a video which was this generic. You know, usually I focus on something really specific, like how to do a certain technique, you know, a review, a story or something like that. This is for everybody, okay? So if you're watching this video, please, you know, pay attention. Try and leave a comment letting me know what you think as well because I like to, I like to hear your feedback and that sort of thing. It uh, helps me make better videos. So, how to lucid dream in 2019. This is aimed at beginners, but it, anyone can watch this video, anyone can use these methods and get results. Now, as I've said before, there are two types of techniques. You've got the ones that are natural and spontaneous and that let you have lucid dreams seemingly at random. And then you've got the techniques which involve interrupting your sleep and waking up at a certain time in the morning, you know, that you might not be accustomed to, interrupting your sleep and then going back to sleep with the intention of lucid dreaming. Now, for simplicity, we're just gonna name these random spontaneous techniques and interruption techniques, because that's really what they are. That's, that summarizes the techniques quite well, I think. So interruption techniques include things like the wild, the wake back to bed, and any variations of those two. The spontaneous or the random techniques includes things like the dialed, the mild, you know, any reality check based ones, any, any technique where you're encouraging yourself to notice that you're lucid or dreaming without having to do anything specific, these are known as random or spontaneous techniques. In 2019, what I would suggest, okay, and I have a good reason for this, is that you focus almost entirely on these random spontaneous techniques. I know a few people might disagree with me on this, but I have something to back it up. So 2019, we're busy people, okay? We have jobs, we have things to do, we have lots of things on our to-do list, lots of people to see, lots of things are capturing our attention. With all of those stresses, okay, with all of those things going on in society and in our lives, we don't need to also be interrupting and damaging our sleep. Our sleep is such a huge force multiplier. You can't even, you don't even understand how important sleep is really until you go without sleep or until you deprive yourself of sleep. Now, when I say interruption of your sleep, what I mean is if you interrupt your sleep cycle and you know, your sleep uh, let's just call it your sleep block, right? Your eight hours of sleep. If you interrupt that at any point, the quality of that sleep is massively diminished. You know, you're not gonna feel as refreshed the next day. You're not gonna feel as energized. It's, it's, it's really damaging to not only your energy levels, but also how happy you feel the next day. And, you know, do this over a long period of time and get what's known as chronic sleep deprivation. It's really nasty and it can even be fatal. That is why I would say don't worry about the stresses of doing that. You know that's quite interest. That's quite um, that's quite annoying, especially when you do, when you try something like that. When you wake up at three a.m., do the wake back to bed, and it doesn't work. That failure multiplied by say seven days, if you try it for a week, is really going to discourage you to the point where you'll not only not want to continue lucid dreaming or trying to, but you'll actually be annoyed about the concept of it, and you'll start to say things like, "Oh, it's not real. It's a load of nonsense." Don't focus on those techniques. They do work, but they're not really for beginners and they're certainly not what I would suggest to spend your time learning. Focus on the random, spontaneous techniques, the things like the dialed and the mild. Now, what I mean by that is there are certain things that you can do, certain habits, certain levels of awareness that you can build up within yourself that will enable you to have what's known as random lucid dreams. You've heard the people that say, oh, well, I have lucid dreams accidentally or randomly. This is what you wanna aim for. Not only will it be more encouraging and more fun, but you will have your sleep intact. You won't have to interrupt your sleep and you'll wake up feeling refreshed. That's really important, I think, in 2019 is to actually to sleep properly. Most people don't do that and they suffer massively as a result of it. You know, they perform worse at work, they argue more in their relationships, they're not as focused or happy or mentally aware or even present. So sleep is important, we know that. We really do know that. So focus on the random techniques. I'm not gonna tell you how to do them in this video because I don't wanna bore you. Like I said, I'm gonna focus on these concise videos in this, uh, in this year. So I'll link to some videos in the description showing you how to do the dialed and the mild. That is the dream initiated lucid dream and the mnemonic initiated lucid dream. There are a couple of variations of those which I would also, I'll try and link to, but I might not. I might just focus on those two because they are the most important and probably the easiest for you to get started with as well. But don't click away yet because I'm not quite done. So those two techniques are what I would say to learn, learn well and focus on in 2019. Alongside those, okay, so remember we're forgetting the interruption techniques. Alongside those two techniques, every day build up a routine. Have five or 10 minutes in the morning where you meditate and then five minutes where you write your dreams down in the morning. 
that is it, okay? Those are the two most important habits that you need to do or you know build alongside also reality checks. I'll get into reality checks in a minute because they there's a bit of a there's a bit of an exception with reality checks. So focus on meditation and writing your dreams down. This has always been the key for me. This has always been what I've focused on and that's why it's always been what I've tried to teach you guys, you know, with the most prominence because that's what's worked for me and that's what's worked also for so many other people and it doesn't have to be difficult let's keep it really simple let's let's just leave it at that write your dreams down in the morning as much as you can remember if you can't remember anything write no dreams down no dreams recalled and just move on to the next day meditate every morning don't overthink this just set a timer on your phone for 10 minutes okay and just count your breaths from 1 to 10 so you would count 1 with the in breath and then 2 with the out breath 3 with the in and f then four with the out breath and just keep doing that up until you, until you get up to 10 and then start again at one. It's really that simple. If you, fo if you find yourself thinking about anything else like what you're gonna have for breakfast or whatever, um, just go back to the counting. Anytime you catch yourself uh, thinking other thoughts than the, than the counting, just go back to the counting of your breaths. So that's literally all you need to do. Do that five or 10 minutes a day and you'll have massive changes in not only your mental attitude, but how, like how you feel in general, you know, and that's advice not only for lucid dreamers, but for anybody. Meditation is massive, you know, if doctors only said to everybody that walks into their office, meditate every day, a lot of things, and I'm not saying everything, because that would be insane, but a lot of things would be massively helped by that. Meditation is big, um, especially for anything related to chronic stress or mental well-being, Meditation makes a huge difference. I'm not saying it's the cure, but it really does make a difference. So, meditate every day, write your dreams down. Now, reality checks, and then we'll end this video on that, on, uh, on that note. So, reality checks are important, but don't spend too much time focusing on the reality check side of things, because a lot of the results will come from the awareness that is underneath that, that level of awareness, if that makes sense. A lot of lucid dreams that you'll have they won't be because of a reality check, they'll be because of a basic, fundamental self-awareness. And that comes from meditation, writing your dreams down, being mindful, and the other two techniques I, I said about the dial and the mild. So while the reality checks do play a part, they're not essential. That being said, practice them, try and do them five to 10 times a day. I have actually almost finished my Lucid Dreaming app, which will be called either How to Lucid or Lucid Reality. I'm not quite sure yet, probably How to Lucid. And on that app, you have this, uh, this section here. This section here, which is a reminder. This is gonna help you to remember to do reality checks. I can't give too much away because it's not officially launched yet, but it's gonna help, it's gonna be a reminder to you. Uh, you can set it to randomly go off every, you know, however often. It's gonna remind you to do reality checks, which is very important. Uh, a lot of people forget to do them or they just don't think about it. I feel like my Lucid Dreaming app, it will help you. It's also free. It's being released very soon, probably by the end of this week. Okay, um, I'll make an official video about that um, later. Um, if you do happen to search it on the iPhone app store and you find, I think it might be under the name of How to Lucid or Lucid Reality, there are some final tweaks which I need to do. But if you do find it and you do download it and you're, you know, you're happy with it, please go and leave it a review. That would be so, so helpful from you guys. You know, uh, it's, it's pretty hard to get app reviews on iTunes. So if you do find it um, before it's officially released, please leave a review, that would really help me with the uh, the official launch, which I'll do next week. But other than that, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. This has been How to Lucid Dream in 2019. Not much has changed, but again, I am focusing now on the random aspect of things as opposed to the interruption, because I feel like sleep is important. So yeah, I hope you agree with me, hope you understand everything that I've said in this video, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. This video and this channel are supported by my Patreon followers. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel, or just click the links in the description, you'll find links to various Lucid Dream products, articles, techniques, and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video, please click the notification bell and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Why are you still watching this? You should have clicked one of my related videos by now, right? Or subscribed, or gone onto my website, or something like that.